as a person who admires Kate a lot, I felt a little offended towards the man who made her feel in the way described in the song or to be in love. Of course, it's about the love, and I know I have no, no right to say anything, but I still couldn't help but think how dare you treat it Kate that way. But when I sing, I had quite a different feeling. From the very first line, I was transported into a lazy late afternoon in summer in Japan. It's hot and humid. I see myself lying on bed, feeling just so heavy and dull, yet somehow I found it very comforting and indulging too. Maybe Kate felt the similar way. Of course her case, the heat wasn't from the, from the air, but the, her, her love, her feeling. For me, because it uh, reminded me of Japanese summer, I felt a lot of nostalgia while singing, and I loved it. I really loved it. My favorite part of the song is the chorus. When the voice goes high, it's so dramatic, and it's beautiful. But personally, I think the real star, real hidden star, is the backing vocals in the first half of the chorus. The layers of deep, low male voices echoing Kate's part is very amusing. It's a wonderful, picturesque arrangement. And I had such a big temptation to sing la that line instead of going, Oh, to be in love. But, oh, 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 to be. It's a um, very attractive, attractive part. And also, it's because of that part, this song becomes not too serious, but light with the comical feel and because of that I think it's attract to me so much too. The next song is L'Amour Looks Something Like You and I am very excited with this one. It's such an enchanting song and uh, it is pleasure to sing, really. I'll be sharing the video next Sunday on 9th of May. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching this. See you very soon. Matane.